Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where a creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be working with the Mischievous Mice Host Stamp Set. This is such a cute set. We're going to pair it with the Abstract Beauty Specialty Designer Series paper. This is the paper that is in the new size, the four by six. So I did not cut the paper this size. It actually came this way. Okay. We're also going to be using the brushed metallic adhesive back dots and the um, Just Jade Flowers for Every Season combo pack ribbon. So it was a three pack, but this is the one we're using, the Just Jade one. But before we get into our project, of course, we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. So we're going to start with our Safari Celebration Paper Pumpkin Kit, which you have till February 10th to subscribe to get this kit. And it makes nine cards with coordinating envelopes. And as you can see by the title and the images, it's going to be about safari animals. Cute, cute, cute. And another thing about the Paper Pumpkin Kit during Celebration if you purchase a three month, six month, or 12 month prepaid subscription, you can earn celebration products. So depending on which level you choose, that determines how many celebration items you earn for free. This is a great way to get your paper pumpkin kit. And then we have our kit collections. These are the kits that can only be found online at stampitup.com slash kits. If you're interested in any of our kits, head on over there to find out what we have available. Next up is our All Together collection. This is a collection of products that will be available February 1st through May 2nd for our customers. It includes a stamp set, dies, designer series paper, and a collection of Stampin' Blends. The dies are only available while supplies last, which leads me to believe everything else will be in the upcoming annual catalog. Okay, so that is something good to look forward to. Then we have our host code for January. This is the monthly host code that I put on my blog at honeybeestampinhive.com as well as my Facebook page, Honeybee Stampin' Hive. This is the code that you would use when you're placing an order with me. If your order is $150 or more, do not use this code because you will qualify for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free products from Stampin' Up. And speaking of large orders, if you're going to place an order for $99 or more, I highly suggest that you go ahead and get our starter kit. During celebration, you can get two free stamp sets when you join Stamp It Up. Those two stamp sets can be from any of our current catalogs as well as the um, clearance rack, which I wouldn't choose <laughs> for your free stamp sets because you want to get the most expensive stamp as your free ones. Because in your kit, you get to choose $125 and you only pay $99 plus tax. Your shipping is free. You get a paper pumpkin kit and a business supply pack. Again, $125 worth of product that you choose yourself. But I would really love to have you join my team. I have a goal during celebration to have about four or five more members join my team. I would love to have you. Now, that is all the buzzworthy business we have today. So let's go ahead and get started on our project. Here are the supplies that we're going to be using. If you would like to get the um, measurements for all of this, I will have a link in the description box below for the PDF that um, I'm using for this card today. It is the January 2022 Show Us Your Sheet Load card sketch. That is by Call Me Crafty Isle. If you click the link in the description box, you will be able to find, um, find out how to get the PDF. Okay, where do I want to start? Let's start by gluing some um, layers together. Okay, so I have, this goes here. Let's just start gluing things together. This designer series paper is so gorgeous and I can't believe that when I was choosing the paper for this that I decided not to use the specialty side I couldn't believe it because I love this specialty side 
That's why I get the papers that are specialties for the specialty part, which is the gold foiling on it. But for this project, the non-specialty side just worked better. So as you can see, this sheet, I am using the specialty side as well as the non-specialty side as our layers. This is gonna be a cute card. Um, let's see. Yep. Oh, I almost did that wrong. See, because I'm habit, I don't want to cover up the specialty side. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys. Do you have that problem? I know everybody does. It's horrible trying to choose which side of the paper to use because they both look so pretty. You don't want to cover one of them up. So the best thing to do is use both sides if your um, layout will allow it. Okay, so that's that. Then we're going to have this go on the bottom. Should I do this side or that side? Uh Let's do the specialty side on the inside. Why not? It's the inside of the card. Oh, wasn't supposed to put blue on this. I was supposed to put it on the paper so that I could keep the glue just where I wanted it. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? So I can get all this specialty. I'm going to pull this over if it'll let me keep going, keep going. That way I can get these gold foil dots on this side as well. So let me get my gunky scissors to uh, cut this off since there's glue on the back of it now. Okay. Now we'll glue this to its layer that I've cut out. Now the inside of my cards are usually three and a half by four and three quarters. And I layer it on a color coordinating piece of cardstock that is five by three and three quarters. Okay, and this is going to go on the inside. Oh, we have to stamp. Man, I forgot I was going to stamp the inside. I wouldn't have. Okay, hopefully we'll do it. Do a good job. Let's go ahead and stamp the inside of our card. So we're going to use some Just Jade ink. And for the inside, it's going to say, hi, sweet friend. So hopefully, we'll get this straight. Oh, perfect. Okay, let me go ahead and put this on the inside so I won't mess it up. Just going to put some glue on this. We're using a white, um, basic white, thick card base. And it's at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay, then we might as well go ahead and stamp our sentiment for the front of the card while we have the Just Jade ink out. And for the front of a card, we're going to stamp just a quick note to say. That's all we need the Just Jade ink for. Then we're going to get our Memento Tuxedo Black ink. We're going to stamp an image of one of the little mice with the pencil because he's writing a note, a quick note. So we're just going to stamp him there. We're going to let that kind of chill out for a second so the ink can dry <laughs> so we can color our little mouse. Put some glue on the back of this and layer it to its square. We can start building our card up. Okay. So we're going to put that there. Let me go ahead and start building this card up. Just going to put this on here. 
center it up. Push that up a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna take this one. I see I have a little overhang, so let me get my paper snips here. Let me just trim this little bit off. It's the tiniest of overhang. And then I'm gonna glue this on. Whoops. I don't want that on the front. And I'm gonna put this about right here. And this is gonna go um, on the designer series paper top to bottom. Okay, then for this layer, I had some ribbon. Okay, we're gonna tie a bow, or may, not a bow, probably just a um a knot. Let's see, I want it, if I tie it and I want it to go this way, means I need to tie it this way. Because <laughs> usually I tie things upside down and they come out the opposite way. So let's, I'm just gonna tie a knot instead of a bow. before we adhere this down to our card base. There we go. We're just gonna cut this. Now these are my paper, my paper scissors. Ooh, that's okay. We'll be all right. And now we're just gonna glue this down to our card. I am going to put some glue on this ribbon. We're going to put this. Let's put it about right here. And again, this is going from side to side on the designer series paper. Oh, I put that bow right in the perfect spot. <laughs> okay, so that is all of our piece is done for now we're going to color so i have a the blush and bride stamp and write marker because we don't have blush and bride in the blends and i'm going to use this to color the top of the eraser here so i'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see this better and just a little bit of the inside of his ear that's all we need that for then we're going to get a uh, balmy blue. That's one of the colors that we have here. And we're going to color his eyes or her eyes. Then we're going to take some So Saffron. This is the light. No, this is the dark So Saffron. And we're going to color this pencil. I started to color the pencil something that matched the... um the DSP better, but I like the regular yellow pencil. Okay, so that's that. Then we have, I think I took Smoky Slate. Yes, this is the light Smoky Slate. And we're going to color these two little rings here because those are usually the metal rings on there. Then we have the ivory and the ivory, I'm going to color the wood part of the pencil where it's been sharpened. It's cute. Okay. Now for the mouse, what I did, I took the um, light gray granite and I colored the whole thing in gray granite first and then after I finished I colored it all over in crumb cake to give me a brown mouse but not too brown because I wanted it a brownish gray so I said well, I'll just color it brown and gray and see how it comes out and I like the way those two colors blended together so we're just gonna color him 
get them all colored up in this gray granite. I don't know if it matters if I use dark or light, but I'm using light. Then I'm going to get the um, light crumb cake and color right over it. So it will look more crumb cake than gray granite, but it'll still have that gray undertone. So it won't look so brown. I thought that worked out pretty good. Pretty good. Now I do want the tail a little darker. Okay, that's pretty much it. So now what I'm going to do is cut this out. Yes, I am going to fussy cut this mouse, but I will not make you sit here and watch me do the entire thing. So I will speed this up. Okay, we have that all cut out and done. So now let's go ahead and get some Stampin' Dimensionals. And we're going to add this to our card. So I'm gonna put him right here. So I'm gonna put a little blue on his tail. Let me start right here to get the glue started. I just wanna put a tiny bit, cause I don't want this to squirt out on his tail, the tip of the pencil. So I'm going to have him right here coming off the page. Then we're going to turn over, put us a dimensional right behind his head, and one on each corner of our square here. Okay, that's all those dimensionals are gone. Then I'll just get one more. Hmm. Yeah, one more. Let's take the backings off of these. And once we're done with this, we can add the finishing touch with the bling. Let me close this glue up. Where did I put the bling? Oh, I see it. Okay, so let's add our image. Try to center it here. Get them straight. Just like that. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get our dots here. Oh, I need to get my, take your pick tool. And since it has gold foil, we're going to use some gold dots. Where do we want to put them? Let's put one down here, one here, perhaps one right here, mm, not so high, right there. There we have it, you guys. That is our project for today. How do you like it? Isn't it cute? That is the Mischievous Mouse Host stamp set. This is found in the January to June 2022 mini catalog. Okay, you guys, that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I would like to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye. <laughs>